How's it going guys? Alex here. Welcome back to another Dokken Battle video. Of course, I have another entry in the Distortion of Time series and we are on JP today because the majority of my previous ones have just been on Global, so I decided to mix it up today. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day as always and if you do enjoy today's video, consider leaving a like and subscribing if you are new. Now to answer a quick question, why isn't the summon at the start of the video? The simple answer is just simply that I kind of want to save them for the end of the, vi um, end of the year video, which is definitely going to be coming out in around two weeks or so. So definitely look forward to that honestly probably after whatever happens on global and jp like straight after that or maybe a few days after you will see a video compiled of just my best pulls throughout the year but let's go ahead and get started but yeah let's just see how it goes and i almost repeated my second part of the intro which of course is i hope you guys are having a wonderful day i hope you guys are having a wonderful day all right how's the christmas period been because for me it's been pretty good this month i'm definitely going all out i'm just trying to introduce a few more things which you haven't seen yet and i will hopefully be able to bring you guys in around a week or so but secret project is coming though and what event shall we take on today honestly i think it's a bit i say i say it's fitting but not really i'm gonna take on two with a geo just because it's an event that i haven't necessarily taken on that much yet and for okay let's not take that ella black and zamasu i don't even think my ella black and zamasu is super attack 20 on jp yet and he isn't. 14, which isn't so bad, but I do have his bottom right path opened. And my global team is admittedly much better, but my first four is legit. You guys have just seen this team like 100 times at this point. So, yeah, let's, let's use my JP team. That's kind of the same for the most part. We do have Gogeta in here. Merge and Masu and El Black. To be, it's actually not that similar. Well, yeah, I've got three units in there, but I don't have Super Saiyan for Goku, Vegito, so Bardock. So, a few um, differences when it comes to the teams. But let's see what we can do here. And from what I tested in the previous video, this uh, green screen tends to be working out a little bit better just because it's flat for one, so it's not going to get creased like my other one, which is just kind of loose, so to speak. And Babyface Alex returns. Yeah. It, it, I don't want to explain. It just didn't go well. Unfortunately, but nonetheless, let's just see how it goes. And it should be fine because, of course, the, f um, of course, the first battle link does more damage against the Vegito stage. And there's <laughs> so much talk about LR Vegito recently. And I am going to re uh, be releasing a video, more of a discussion regarding Vegito. So definitely look forward to that. I can't, man, I really wish I had my Super Saiyan for Goku at 100%. But here's the thing on JP or on Global Rob, I do have the Super Saiyan for Gogeta at 100%. And then I have Super Saiyan for Gotenks as well. And it's like. Doesn't Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks hit hard than Super Saiyan 3 Goku anyway? I'm not too certain because he does get that additional boost when you get the 11 key super attack. So I think that makes a bit of a difference in the majority of the time. If you were to compare the um, the 12 key, that could be a completely different scenario. But when it comes to just the um, what do you call it, 11 key super attack for the Gotenks and obviously the 12 key for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku, I think it's a completely different story. And... Here's the merge master with no deep. So I think Big Bad Loss is, is active here. Now, how much is this going to do? Probably not so much. Like, it's just crazy to see how much these stages have been buffed. Uh, it makes sense, right? We don't want an easy event because, oh, wow. 32,000 per hit. Isn't that lovely? Uh, yeah. So, I initially thought that the Bardock actually had Beth of Asshole. He, he, he doesn't. I believe he has Saiyan Lineage, which is the link that he's getting from the Super Saiyan for Goku now. And of course, Ella Black and Zamas gets a crit additional. Okay, no additional. One time I don't see for attacks. So I don't even think they've been hit that many times. I really, really, really want to see how well they perform on a Super Saiyan, um, Super Saiyan 3 Brody team, though. But I mean, I do have him on JP, but I want to test it on Glaive a little bit more because I'd be have better units for that team. And now this is the physical stage, I want to say. No, it's the agility stage. And, of course, like, it's just so... I don't want to say it's funny, but it's like... It, like, this Vegito genuinely does hit relatively hard. But when you have a look at the actual cards, it's like, oh, okay. And it's the same with Broly, right? In the Broly event, he is super tanky, but his actual card lowers his own defense. So it's like, okay, sure, bad. Like, you know what? Do what you want to do, okay? If it, if it works for you, then it works for us because we can't exactly change anything. Imagine, oh, like, honestly, I'm not that big of a fan of Merge Master Super Attack. It, it kind of feels like... I don't know what it is. It, it, on top of being relatively long, it feels a bit sluggish as well. So I kind of wish he did something a bit different. Like, I love his Undoken Super Attack. But when it comes to the Awakened one, it's kind of like, oh, okay. Definitely not 70%. That is not a 70% chance to counter. And now we have another good rotation. How many times has... You know what? 
low key, this is going to be a better rotation. They both have prepare for battle, fish battle. It, it just works better. And is the attack going to go up here? I couldn't tell, but I think they are almost at their max. Obviously, we are on a 180% lead. Like, I'm, I'm not even joking. The level that some of these leads are at is absolutely insane. You have Ever Black and Zamasu. Together, they give a total increase of 180%. But then you have Golden Freezer, who gives a 340% attack boost, which is, like, almost double. It's crazy. It's definitely one of the best leads in the game. 100%. I feel like... I don't know. I feel like people don't use him because it's a villain. Or maybe... People love Freezer. I mean, without a doubt, people love Freezer. I think it's because it's a villain. People just don't use villains that much. To be fair, I have seen him pop up quite frequently. And of course, you haven't seen it already. I did a 100% Golden Freezer showcase. So definitely go ahead and check it out. That was like <laughs> one of the most insane finds. And it kind of upset me that the um, Dream Z Awakening Goku event wasn't there. Because it's just like, oh, okay. So I need to take out this last stage. But I can't because obviously the um, Twitter is a bit wild right now. Um, obviously, I couldn't take it on because the event isn't here. But Broly should be coming out in around a week or so. They did say towards the end of December. So it's like, okay. It's going to be close to in December. Like, it's the same super attack for the most part when you compare it to the other Vegetos, but they change the angle, okay? That's all that matters. They change the angle at the very least, so they can kind of count it as a different, more innovative super attack, I suppose. And now we are on the last stage. And we do have several fist battle units here. But unfortunately, um, I say unfortunately, but we are going to super attack every single unit here. Honestly, I'm going to use another Whis. It's a shame that the Whis isn't like move over to the next turn as well. And one thing that I really want to test out is um, the Gito's mechanic that ra raises attack one because I believe that's actually very similar to the Kaiken mechanic, which was kind of demonstrated in my um, showcase video, but I just do want to confirm that for sure. Yeah, there we go. That is what I'm talking about. Not even ultimate attack, but how much is this actually going to do? One million. So despite Fierce Battle being active, it still generally hit hits for the same amount of the attack stab, which is I mean, it's not bad, but... Okay. I'm actually curious to see how hard this hits, then. Because the attack stat is just not even at a million. 534k. Okay, he's pretty tanky, to be fair. If you don't have units with potential system buffs, you, you could be in trouble if you're taking on this event. But everyone... Ooh, close to a Doku mode as well. Mm, I was about to say, I could have grabbed the um, tech type walls to be a bit faster, but it would happen the exact same way if I just grabbed them with the Goku. We are close to a Doku mode here. And we get super attacks. How much are they going to get hit for from a super attack? I don't believe Vegito greatly lowers defense, so defense is going to stay the exact same. 58k from a super attack. That's pretty solid. And another thing I need to do. Like, there are just so many things I'm thinking about right now. I'm just thinking, what, what am I going to do after this video? Well, it's not exactly after this video, but it's just something that I want to do in the coming days. Another limit breaker um, limit breaker analysis, because it's been like almost two months, I think. So, I, I, I will do it, okay? It may not be... It will be in the same format, but it may not be the exact same. Because obviously, it's just something that I'm constantly changing. But it's coming. Something is definitely coming for that. It's just took me quite a while. But I kind of have like the preset, so to speak, now for the actual editing. So I don't think it should be that much of a challenge. But overall, um, it was definitely a fun series to make. I want to say thank you to those of you that enjoyed it, obviously, because it did take quite a while to make. But the next one should take that long, especially if I try to simplify a few things. And obviously, just if I refine my editing skills in certain areas, it will look better overall. And it will just um, take less time, especially because I just know what I'm doing. And we ranked up. That's the thing, like, I'm always like, I keep talking, I apologize. I'm almost like another 100 levels on Global, but to be fair, I've been playing Global for a lot longer. And there he is. Well, there they are. People tend to forget about Ella Black or oh, Zamasu in the picture, but level 14 crit, great link set. The only thing that he is uh, realistically missing is Super Saiyan, and if you added that as well, he would be hitting even harder. But I think I've pretty much gone over everything. I hope you guys did enjoy the video as always. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more. Stay tuned for my LR Vegito Blue discussion because that's definitely going to be an interesting bite. It's the final say on Vegito Blue and what I personally think. So I definitely look forward to that. But I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all in the next one.